No what way. that does is that grows. That cannot be mine. We've actually done a little experiment <laughs> to see if Croft the germ loader, if his mouth is actually dirtier oh. than a dog's. Oh. Check this out. A bit of a myth that human mouths are filthier than dogs' mouths. So to test that, we went after the world's filthiest. You put it right down my throat. Mouth. I don't know why you went that far. <laughs> in. And then uh, again, this is me. That's not me. That's the dog. Oh, no. That's yes. Roscoe. That's Roscoe. Have you ever smelled the dog before? He looked quite okay. He was pretty comfortable with it. Hands up if oh, you think Rob's mouth think? is going to be Yes. Oh, Ooh, there's a lot. And what about the Roscoe's, the dog? I brush my teeth a lot. So we did these a week ago. Oh, um, no what way. that does is that grows. That cannot be mine. Bacterial <laughs> colony. <laughs> cannot be mine. Okay. That is so, disgusting. <laughs> that is revolting. So this, no, it's not. That, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> this one here, this is Croft's mouth. Oh, thank goodness for that. Even still. You can see on there different <laughs> colonies, probably some Staphylococcus, Streptococcus. <laughs> That's the dog's mouth. Oh. Yeah. Again, um, oh, that's pretty you can see there lots of different bacteria, lots of different colonies, probably some micrococcus, pasturella. The whole idea is they're pretty normal. Okay. We all have lots and lots of bacteria in our mouths and it's not necessarily all bad. The myth around whether it's uh, cleaner in a dog's mouth or a human's mouth actually comes from the fact that it's worse if you get bit by a bitten by a human than by a dog because our bacteria causes more infection.